Welcome to the learning support video that outlines our third segment here on how to design a resistance training program. You know, one of the more important factors that we need to consider in designing a resistance training program for someone is determining when they'll participate in the resistance training program. Fortunately, we have two general rules that will help us determine training frequency. The first rule of thumb is this. We should allow at least one day, but not more than three days between workouts that stress the same muscle groups or muscles. Secondly, if we are working with novices, it's helpful for us to let them know that they can begin to see the benefits of a resistance training program if they can commit to as few as two or three times per week. On the other hand, those who are considered to be on the intermediate or advanced level aren't likely to see improvements in their strength training if they're only working out two or three times per week. They will, however, have a better opportunity to maintain their strength gains by working out two or three times per week. So let's look at this even more closely. I hope having this chart here will help provide some simplicity to this process. If we're working alongside an individual who's classified as a novice or beginner, we should aim to incorporate them in a two or three day exercise regimen. This will ease them into committing to a regular or a consistent exercise routine. Also, the frequency is just enough so that they can actually begin to see the benefits or results of their effort. Should we work with those who are at the intermediate level, we can recommend anywhere from three to four days a week. We'll look at what a split routine and a total body routine look like in just a moment. Last but certainly not least, for those who are already at the advanced level, we want to engage them more consistently in a strength training program so that they continue to improve on their strength gains. For these types of individuals, we serve them well by selecting between four to six days a week for a training regimen. This chart here showcases some of the formats that we can utilize to flesh out the training frequency that we select for an individual or a group of individuals. On the first row, we have a total body routine. In this routine, we're asking an individual, most likely a beginner or someone on the intermediate level, to engage in both upper and lower body resistance training exercises on the same day between two and three times per week. Notice that the frequency here represents what we outlined earlier, where beginners are engaged in a resistance training program, again, two or three times a week. We also noted that someone on the intermediate scale could also complete their exercise program three days a week. Notice too that the number of off days allows for no more than three days off between exercise routines. On the second row, we have an example of a split routine. It's the split routine that allows us to focus on different parts of the body on alternate days. This helps us to prevent fatigue and allows for adequate rest in between days where the same muscle groups are stressed. In this example, we could have someone complete their upper body exercises on Monday, their lower body exercises on Tuesday, while having a day of rest on Wednesday. Then the individual can pick up on their routine on Thursday, repeating the same exercises that he or she completed on Monday and those that were completed on Tuesday can take place on Friday. Saturday and Sunday would also be rest days. Notice again too that this helps us to have no more than three sequential off days from the given routine. This type of routine is best for individuals on the intermediate level or those who have proved that they can adequately handle a routine that has fewer rest days. Just as a quick note, please also keep in mind that these off days don't have to be used not doing anything. They can be used to devote time towards flexibility or cardiovascular training. Now, taking a look at the third row here, the push-pull-split routine, this routine is listed as one that can help individuals who are at the beginner or intermediate levels. The hallmark of this routine is the sequence in which exercises are executed. The primary component here is that each exercise is organized by those that involve a pushing movement and a pulling movement. 
For example, many chest exercises involve a pushing movement, like the bench press. So if we've completed a push-up, an exercise that would be suitable in following this would be a seated row. It's here that we begin engaging in more of a pulling motion. Last but certainly not least, in the fourth row is what we refer to as the body part split. This routine allows us an opportunity to focus primarily on specific body parts. In the middle of the week, we would have a day of rest. On the next three days, we repeat the routine in the same order we did at the beginning of the week. Thank you again for watching this segment of the video on designing a resistance training program. We'll continue in the next segment by discussing exercise selection and order.